Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a week since I uploaded a video. Just came back on vacation from Hawaii, so I look kind of tannish. So the next, this video, we're still in the CompTIA Pen Test Plus, the last series on information gathering, vulnerability scanning, and map advanced port scans. So I already load. Let's see the start machine and yeah so uh, let's get right into it uh this today is going to be nmat advanced port scan learn advanced techniques such as no fin xmas and idle zombie scan spoofing in addition to w fw and ids invasion i forgot what's fw but intrusive detection system all right, task one, introduction. As you know, guys, I'm just showing you how to, how to answer the questions. Please read through each task to get full understanding. All right, so answer the questions below. Launch the attack box by using the start attack box button. Get ready to experiment with different types of MAP scans against different virtual machines. So click one. All right. Task two, TCP no scan, fin scan, and XMAS scan. So it talks about these three different types. And it says in a no scan, how many flags are set to one? Okay. No scan does not set any flags. So six five bits are set to zero. All right. Next one in a fin scan, how many flags are set to one? So fin scan. Fin scan, so with fin scan set, you can set this type again. So I believe it's one, right? Yeah. So in the Xmas scan, how many flags are set to one? So Xmax gets named Christmas tree lights. Xmas scan set to fin, PSH, and urge flags simultaneously. So it looks like it's three. And next question is start the VM and load the attack box. Once both are ready, open the terminal attack box and use nmap to launch a fin scan against the target VM. How many ports appear as open filter? Okay, let's show split view. See my face. This. All right, so open the terminal. And we're doing a fin scan, right? So let's copy sudo nmap.sf. All right, that's my IP address. So clipboard. You can type this out or copy and paste. So this is a no scan and fin scan SF. Okay, while I was loading, let's see. And the next question is repeat your scan launching a no scan against the target VM. How many ports appear as open filter? Okay. So while I was loading, uh, as you know, guys, I'm currently not into IT industry, but I am switching over. So currently I am I CompTI certified, which is recognized by my work, my current work in other industries. It's a, I have A plus, CYSA plus, Network plus, Pandas plus, and Security plus. And they're all current. I did it in within the last year or so. Let's see. Still loading, BST, all right. All 
Okay. Might have to. All right. How many ports appear to be open? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven. Yep. Repeat your scan launching a no scan against the target VM. How many ports appear as open filter? So no scan. So it's gonna be the same thing, but instead of dash SF, it's gonna be N. All right. While it's loading, I want to check. All right, the next video is going to be, I think I did this in the previous path. So the next one is going to be fishing. As you can see, I'm still working on these. Uh, I think the new updates have created more uh, rooms for the pen test. Let's see, I was loading. As you can see, guys, uh, we already finished the introduction to cybersecurity, which is 24 hours, the pre security, which 40 hours, and then the web fundamentals, which is uh, another easy path. 32 hours. Uh, the new learning path security engineer, 99%. I'm pretty sure I have one more room to complete. But as you can see, just by completing these easy learning paths, I'm already at the top 1%. So, 11,000 people. All right. Let's see how many ports are open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's seven again, right? Yep, there you go. All right. Uh, so, I think I have to terminate this and then start again. Let's go test three TCP Mamon scans. So it talks about that, different type of scan. Answer your questions below. In Mamon scan, how many flags are set? So as you read the first line, it says, in this scan, the fin and ACK bits are set. So it means two, right? Yeah. So it talks about the scan. All right, task four, TCP ACK window and custom scan. So talking about different types of scan. So in TCP window scan, how many flags are set? So you go back. Window scan, instrument scan is TCP, same as ACK. Example, TCP window when fields of RC ST packets are returned. So I think it's two, right? Or is it one? Oh, it's one, okay. Because, uh, same. Same as, so similar TCP window scan. All right, the site experiment a custom TCP scan that has, a, has the reset flag set. What would you add after dash dash scan flags? Hint, the reset flag is RST. 
All right. It's reset, right? So RST. Yep. Next question, the VM received an update to its firewall rule set. A new port is now allowed by the firewall. After you make, sh after you make sure you have terminated the VM from task two, start the VM for task. This task already did that. Launch attack box, you haven't done that already. Once both ready, open the terminal on the attack box and use Nmap to launch ACK scan against the target machine. How many ports appear? Unfiltered. So AC key stand, which is we're going to use this one. Let's try again. So stuff S dash S N is A. Let's see. Oh, wrong IP address. All right, while well, that's loading, so, all right. Appears to be four on filter. What is the new port number that appeared? So we're going to match as 2280, so it's 443. That's the new, new. Is there any service behind the newly discovered port number? Hint. Use the Firefox and browse. All right. So it's basically asking to load this. No service. As you can see, it's not loading. So, all right. Task five, spoofing and decoys. So before that, let me um, terminate this and start this. Okay. All right, task five, spoofing decoys. Tell us about spoofing. So answer your questions, Bill. What do you need to add the command sudo map machine IP to make the scan appear as if it's coming from the source IP 10.10.10.11 stub your IP address? Pure. So as you can see, Disable scan instead of nmap, you need to issue g spoof. So I believe it's um, s10.10. There you go, spoof. Next question What do you need to add the command sudo map nmap? And then that's my IP, current IP address. 10.10.62.210 to make the scan appear as it's coming from the source IP address 10.10.20.21 and 10.10.20.28 addition to your IP address. So, need to add command. All right, let's try this. So as you can see, there's a command and then IP address, IP address, me. So I think it's this one. So, so dash 10, Ten dot twenty dot twenty one. Ten dot ten dot twenty dot 
28. Yep. It's right here. So I'm using these two. All right, task six, fragmented packets. All right, it talks about firewall ideas, fragmented packets, and answer your questions. Well, in, if the TCP segment has a size of 64 and dash FF options being used, how many IP fragments will you get? Two. Incest fragment talks about adding another F will split the data in 16 byte fragments instead of eight. You can default by using MTU, however, you should always multiply it by eight. So 16 divided by four. So 16 times four. So it's actually four, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Task seven, idle zombie scan. All right. Tells about um the talks about idle and zombie. And answer your questions below. You discover a rarely used network printer with IP address of 10.10.5.5 and you decide to use it as a zombie in your idle scan. What argument should you add to your nmap command? So, so it's going to be eerie through here. So it talks about idle. So dash si dash si. Yeah. So it just talks about different mmap commands. So you read through it. It might look foreign to you, but you get you get better at it as you practice. You know. Task eight, getting more details. As you can see, I already load the start machine. And the answer your question is below launch the attack box here. I'm done so after you make sure that you have terminated the VM from task four, start the VM for this task. Did that wait for it to load completely, then open the terminal on the attack box, use the end map using mmap dash ss dash f dot dash dash reason 10.10.62.210 to scan the vm was the reason provided state port being open so let's close this or you copy clipboards paste what's the reason being open so reason Sin dash ACK so that's it. All right, that was easy. So, so as example, and this is what you use. And last one, task nine summary. So it just summarizes all the type of scam. Uh, please read through all this. And that's what we went over. And yeah, these types can rely on settings, TCP flags, and expect the way to prompt ports for reply. So you're just seeing which ports are open by using different types of scan. Answer your questions below. Ensure you have to take a note of all import and map options explained in this room. Please join MMAP post port scans room, the last room of this MMAP series. All right, that was pretty easy. Finish, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, only in. If you like this video, hit this, the like button, subscribe button, the notification, and comment below. Hopefully this video helps you to answer these questions. Um, next one is going to be, let's see. Next one's gonna be phishing since I already did the first three HTTP in detail. I top ten 
2021 and all hot webs juice box juice shop anyways guys thanks for watching till the next video